At the National Institutes of Health, just outside of Washington, D.C., health officials recently unveiled the first national plan to address the issue of Alzheimer's disease. This is a roadmap that will help us meet our goal to prevent and effectively treat Alzheimer's disease by 2025. They also are moving ahead with major new projects now, with additional funding recently directed toward Alzheimer's disease research. At an exceptional moment, it seems, scientifically for Alzheimer's, with more revelations about the nature of this disease uh, coming out in just the last few months uh, than perhaps uh, for quite some time. The national plan and new projects were announced at the Alzheimer's Disease Research Summit 2012, Path to Treatment and Prevention which brought together hundreds of scientists and stakeholders committed to finding new and better ways to fight Alzheimer's. Participants in the meeting include representatives from academia, from industry, uh, advocates, uh, all representative of the very groups that need to work together if we're going to most effectively approach the problem that Alzheimer's disease creates for us. Hosted by NIH and the Department of Health and Human Services, with private sector support through the Foundation for the NIH, the summit aimed to address key research issues in Alzheimer's disease and point the way forward. So what we want to do is try to think about new ways to develop therapeutics and what kinds of infrastructure is needed to get us to where we want to be. Panel discussions covered a variety of issues, underscoring the importance and urgency of the task at hand. So these genetic resources are available for use. What you need to do is tell us, is there additional information you want us to gather on these individuals and in these families to make it even a better opportunity uh, to get to the bottom of this complex disease? Today, as many as 5.1 million Americans may have Alzheimer's disease. Unless the disease can be effectively treated or prevented, that number will rise significantly. That's because the risk of Alzheimer's increases with age and the U.S. population is aging. It was predicted by a couple of very smart people in the 1970s that we were going to have an immense epidemic in the 21st century. And that has come true. People who never heard of Alzheimer's disease 10 years ago now all know about it. It is something that we talk about regularly. It's on the covers of our news magazines. It's featured in our newspapers. Alzheimer's not only affects the person who has it, it touches loved ones as well. Caregivers see the face of Alzheimer's every day and know firsthand how it can deeply affect families and communities. My wife's Alzheimer's, we diagnosed it very early because we had had the experience of my mother. And I knew from behavior, not forgetting as much as just general behavior, that there was something seriously wrong with her. She kind of gave up, she stopped cooking, you know, and it just, it just progressed over the years. It got worse and worse. Today is the best she's ever going to be. Years of research have yielded an impressive body of findings about Alzheimer's disease. Progress is being made on many fronts, from basic science to clinical research. Molecules are being developed. Drugs are being synthesized that will likely have an effect on the underlying disease process. At the same time, on the clinical research side of the house, we are making the diagnosis of Alzheimer's disease at an earlier and earlier point in the process. The idea being that when, in fact, these disease-modifying therapies are developed, the clinical populations will be ready for us to intervene in the process as soon as possible. And at that point, these two parallel paths will converge. And involving the public in clinical research is an essential component of this initiative. Families are the key to this because we will not conquer this disease without clinical trials. We will not do clinical trials in patients with Alzheimer's disease unless their families are willing to help. The summit concluded with a set of important recommendations to guide researchers as they move forward. We hope that these recommendations will lead to best judgment in identifying those areas of research which will most effectively, most efficiently, and most rapidly generate effective interventions for treatment and ultimately prevention of Alzheimer's disease. For more information about the Research Summit, visit www.nia.nih.gov.